Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm painting this ceramic plate using the one brushstroke method. So I've got with me my angled brushes, my paint palette, and the acrylic paint that I'm using today is my Liquitex Basics. So first things first, I'm doing the gradient for the leaves and to do this I'm using my white, yellow and then my three green shades to make a gradient and then with my bigger brush swoop in, swooping, <laughs> swiping through the paint to pick up the colour gradient on the bristles. Then on my plate, wiggling my brush around to get the gradient on there. This was my first attempt at trying this, I sort of botched up the leaf at the start but it's all right we can go back in and we can fix the tip of it. So now I've switched brushes to this sort of flat thin one, mixing in a bit more of the yellow and green so I can create these stems here. So later on we will be putting petals and stuff on these. So they look weird at the moment but they, they look good at the end, trust, trust me. <laughs> So now I'm creating the gradient for the petals using white, pink and red and using the same technique of swiping them on the palette and then making the gradient and then putting the gradient on the brush. This brush didn't really give the results that I wanted so I actually go back in with my bigger brush, the one that I use for the leaves, to make the petals bigger and more defined. that the flowers have been painted on I'm just using some yellow to create the pollen center and I go in as well with a little bit of brown just to add some stems and stuff to make them look pretty <laughs> Now using this really thin brush, I'm going in with my deep green color to add detail to all of the leaves. Switching brushes again to this thin flat one, I'm just adding some teeny tiny little petals to those green stems that we painted on earlier. Then I went in with my light brown colour just to add a bit of detail to those petals. So the very last bit of painting was adding on my signature and then it was time to protect the paint and so to do this I made up a very thin coat of resin which is what you're seeing here. Um, I've just mixed equal parts of A and B, poured it onto the plate and then let it cure for 24 hours. Now 
and here is the finished plate. I'm so incredibly happy with how this turned out. It's actually my first time painting using the one brush stroke method and also painting on a ceramic plate. Very different to paper and canvas like I'm used to but regardless of that I think it turned out amazing and I really hope you enjoyed watching me paint it. So if you did don't forget to like it, maybe subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!